welcome back to my channel in today's video i am filming a very highly requested video for you guys everybody has been asking me to film this video and it's basically showing you my most favorite designer items and also the things i actually regret buying as well because believe it or not the vova does have a wide range of products on there there's some things are really good quality and then other things are really 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 poor quality so I do have a good few items to show you ones that I love and ones that I hate as well because there are some horrible items which I actually do regret buying a lot like a lot and I wish I never added them to the basket and all of them because they are actually shocking but before I get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it would be nice to get to a like goal of 50 likes on this video so please leave a thumbs up or even make a YouTube account and also leave a thumbs up also leave a comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get on with the video starting off, I think I'm actually going to start off with an item that's been very popular on Vova and it is something which I am obsessed with still to this day I love it so much and it's my pink strap the Louis Vuitton the multi bachette bag honestly she is so pretty a lot of people have ordered this handbag from Fova they're both in the pink strap the khaki strap and also the brownie strap but I think this bag is so popular because obviously the one on the actual website is over a thousand pounds and a lot of us people who you have normal jobs and stuff can't afford to fork out over a grand on a handbag as much as it is very pretty it's a lot of money but anyway this handbag i must have ordered over a year ago now on vova it'll be one of my most popular vova hauls so please make sure to watch them i'll put a screenshot of all my vova hauls on the screen now for you all i think i bought this for like around 30 pounds the best thing i've ever bought because i've used it so much you can fit all sorts in here fit like coins and stuff in this little round the one you can fit like your lipsticks in this one and sanitary towels and girly stuff like you know because we need them and like if you've got a small purse like I do you can fit like a purse in here and stuff and it's actually really spacious for a little bag and it looks really fashionable and you don't you really have to carry it because you put it over your body like so um, and it just looks really nice excuse my outfit you guys I'm wearing you're red and pink but it's fine because I'm just chilling in the house but oh my god it's so pretty it's definitely an item I totally love buying and I'm still obsessed with her to this day so yeah I highly recommend if you want to get this bag off of or DH gate have a look because it's amazing and it's a really good tube as well now here is something that I do really really regret buying because it just looks horrendous in my opinion anyway some people may like to spell or even own it but for me it just it doesn't go well but anyway it is this interlocking gucci belt and it's like a white the one if this was the real one and the like the logo it was the small one like the real one is i would probably really like this but because the logo is huge it really it looks so fake because the real one has like a small logo and it looks a lot nicer this just it is horrendous plus it smells so bad still like it's oh it's actually horrid and it's also really like it's really flimsy and really like bendy which it shouldn't be like that obviously i know it's a fake and when you buy cheap you buy twice but it just is very 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 cheap quality and i've also had to make a haul because i do have like a tiny waist as well but yeah i, I definitely regret buying this belt because it doesn't fit on me and it also looks really cheap and nasty when you wear it with like a pair of jeans or whatever as well so yeah so that is something i'll not be buying ever again because i don't like it all and yeah it just it's horrendous i actually hate it another item i regret buying is this kind of like a louis vuitton is it like a scarf or like a shawl or something and 
It's like this goldy kind of like champagne colour. I used to like this when I first kind of shopped on Vova, but now that I've had it for like a bit longer, it's not a bit of me. Um, the material is very cheap, it's very itchy to wear. It does have the Louis Vuitton kind of like logo in somewhere, but I just think it just isn't in my kind of thing anymore to have or wear. I think my first ever Vova haul is it's been up for like a year and a half and people do change within a year and a half so yeah it does have the logo but for me I wouldn't wear it ever again I might decide to wear it if I like it but I just think it's not my kind of thing anymore and the quality isn't the best either so it's something I wouldn't recommend anyone to buy either another item which I have actually loved using and I still love it and now from Vova is this Moncler hat obviously I have not wore this since winter time because it is summer now but I love this so much I actually really like the Moncler clothing and, and accessories because the logo isn't in your face and I love this colour as well it actually makes me really want to get a Moncler jacket like in this kind of colour because it feels to match with this hat I might actually have a look on Vova on DHG because I know that the Moncler jackets can be quite expensive I love it There's so much the little pom pom isn't too like out there and if I try it on for you all I'm guessing where I'll put my hair behind my ears because I don't I want to be looking like a skater girl kind of thing but if I wear this on my head imagine this is just in the winter time how cute is that i love it so much i think this was around like 15 pounds which is really good and you could not tell the difference really it's really cute and it will be something i'll be wearing in winter time again this year as well because i bet it will be very cold because we are in the uk and it just get very cold in the winter time it rains all the time and stuff hardly ever snows but it'll be good to keep my head warm yes that is something i love from Vova and I will be keeping as well. Another love of mine is the Malaysia Dior handbag. She is beautiful. I've had her for over a year almost I think as well. It's very hard to find this type of bag in a replica because they are very hard to make because it's got a lot of stitching on it and stuff and like it's quite like a sturdy bag but oh my god the quality is amazing. I only really take her out for special occasions or like if I'm going for like a nice meal or something. Absolutely stunning. The gold detailing is gorgeous. And inside it just has... Oh my god. I lost my Apple plug, right? I've just found it in my bag. Oh my god. I finally found it, guys. <laughs> anyway, yeah. It's just got like the Dior kind of print in it. But for £43, it was definitely well spent. Because it's such a beautiful handbag. And you go to any outfit as well so yeah I love her a lot another item which I regret buying a lot as well now is this it's never full handbag it's all cat it's a beautiful handbag but you can tell it you can tell it's fake if you were into the design of pieces because the stitching is very yellow on there and obviously the real kind of stitching is more like a creamy colour also the straps break so easily on this handbag and it makes it look so kind of shabby like I think the first couple of times I wore this you know, the straps are breaking on me already so that's not good but I wouldn't say I act like I really really regret purchasing this but because the quality is very poor I do regret it but if I was to get the real one I would get this like, like the same kind of style because it is a good handbag it's perfect for like you're putting anything inside it it's really spacious but yeah it's it's, it's something I wouldn't purchase again off over unless they were selling a better quality one which which actually looked more realistic because the red is kind of smudging as well on on some areas and it isn't a good look at all so no I do regret buying this bag 100% <laughs> another love of mine which I wear all the time still is in my black 
pink and red, the triple S, the Balenciagas. They obviously are they're looking a bit more shabby now and a bit like worn down, but obviously I've had these for over a year as well. They are still some of my favourite trainers because they're very weighty for a start and if you've ever owned or like held the real triple S's, they are very weighty trainers. Um, the stitching and everything is perfect. Obviously, they will look a bit more like a bit shabby now because I've had them for over a year, but they say triple S on there and then Balenciaga on the side and then Balenciaga on the bottom of the shoe as well. Um, and the laces are the exact same and then they have like the Euro uh, shoe size number on there as well. But yeah, these are something I am really happy I purchased because they're the really cool trainers. I actually want to get these in like the white, the whitey nude kind of colour because they're really comfortable trainers. Yeah, they can be weighty when you first wear them on your feet, but you will get used to them. And I think I bought it for fifty pounds. It's more expensive, but they're definitely worth the fifty pounds I spent on them because they're beautiful trainers. And I will definitely try to keep these for as long as I can until they break, probably. I would be very surprised if these trainers actually broke because. Yeah, they're very, very, very heavy trainers. Now, the final item which I am so happy I bought is my black and gold Gucci belt because it's so elastic. It comes in a dust bag and also a Gucci box, which is upstairs. I mean, upstairs. I mean, it's up on my top of my wardrobe, and it and the box is identical to the real thing as well. Now, this belt I have had for ages. It it goes with everything. I did have to make a haul in it in myself because I do have the smallest waist on the planet, but it's fine. The gold it looks very expensive looking. It doesn't look cheap as such. I have I have scratched it because I've worn it a lot and one of the things has kind of come out a little bit, but I might just have to super glue it in. It's not harm at all. And the quality is amazing. It's very sturdy. It doesn't stretch as such. This is in a size 42. Yeah, and it goes with anything as well. If I ever need to wear a belt for anything, I always wear this one because it's just easy to put on. You know, it's, it's easy to take off if you need to go to the toilet and everything as well. And yeah, and I think this was around £30, but it was £30 well spent because I love her so much. But anyway, guys, here is the end of my Volva regrets and most love items kind of video if that's how I want to call it I will have to decide on a name for this video because I haven't actually decided yet but I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video if you have please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and also if you want to watch any of my other videos please make sure to watch them they will be on my channel under the popular uploads a tab on my channels please make sure to watch them also subscribe and i will see you all in my next video Bye.